I'm Kate Spivey and today I wanted to say congratulations to everyone who is still doing NaNoWriMo. We are well into the second week now and I thought I would go ahead and sit down and give everyone some tips and tricks for meeting their NaNoWriMo word count. Now hitting your word count can be very stressful and for the sake of this video I'm going to use NaNoWriMo's recommended word count of 1,667 words per day as the estimate for what you might be writing. Your personal word count may be as low as 200 words a day or it may be as high as 5,000. I'm going for 2,000 words a day right now because that is something that is manageable for me. That may not be manageable for you and you should go with the word count that is the most manageable for you because you are just trying to get as much out of NaNoWriMo as you can and not stress yourself out. This is a fun thing and I'll leave a link to my other video about my feelings about that. But for today we're focusing on tips and tricks for how to keep up with your word count. Tip number one is to chunk up your day. Whether or not you're a student or a busy parent or just a person with a hectic schedule or a long job, your day is naturally divided into certain chunks. You wake up, you have breakfast, or maybe you skip breakfast, you have lunch, you come home from work, you have some free time, you go to bed. That may not be exactly your schedule, but everyone's day follows a normal sort of pattern one way or another. My suggestion is to take those natural breaks in your day, whether or not they be breaks you would normally spend time on the internet or maybe watching a TV show. Use that chunk of time instead to get some words in. It doesn't have to be a lot of words. If you're sitting down and looking at your word count thinking 1,667 words is so much to sit down and type, don't sit down and type it. I strongly recommend that you don't look at that as one chunk you have to tackle in one sitting. Please don't do that. <laughs> I know that word sprints can kind of push this idea that you're trying to get a big amount of words out at one time, and those can be very helpful for getting going. However, I think it's a lot more helpful for me personally and probably for you if you chunk those into smaller portions. Maybe when you first wake up in the morning, if you sort of lay in bed looking at your phone, maybe position your laptop close to your bed, and when you roll over in the morning, rather than scrolling through Twitter, type 200 words before you get out of bed while you're having your breakfast. I know it can be really hectic if you're someone with small children around breakfast time, but if you happen to be the type of person who can scroll through your Tumblr feed, maybe instead open your Word document while you're eating breakfast, type 200 words. Now you're done with those 200, you don't have to worry about that. However your lunch break works, uh, even if you're very social, try and slip in 100, 200 words during that break. If you're able to do more, absolutely do more. Now let's say we're getting into the evening, and hopefully by the time you get to the evening, if you manage to slip in just a few words here and there, maybe you already have 500 words done, maybe you already have 1,000 words done, your evening now has just a little bit less. Maybe before you eat dinner, write another 500. Try and push out a little extra words from what you did earlier in the day. Maybe dinner isn't a very good time for you, but you have a couple of different breaks before you go to bed. Maybe do an extra 500 immediately following dinner. Maybe sit down and try and do a big 1,000 word chunk into the evening. Try and plan your day so that you have the very end of your day so that you could catch up a few extra words. You could do an extra 1,000, but you don't have to. That You don't have to try and get out your entire 1,667 words. Even if you only manage to get done with 300 earlier in the day, it's going to feel a lot less stressful when you finally get to that evening portion and you're trying to just get as many words done as you can. Tip number two. I used to believe that when they say don't revise as you go when you're writing for NaNoWriMo because you're trying to get the words out. I used to think that that meant charge blindly ahead no matter what. That's not helpful for me and it's not helpful for a lot of writers. What I find is helpful is not going back and revising every little thing you've written every time, but at the start of each writing section, and I mean every writing section or maybe just once a day, Going and looking back, maybe not at everything you wrote yesterday, because it's going to be three, four pages possibly, but at the last two, three paragraphs, reread where you were, catch yourself up, give yourself a moment, and allow yourself to add in a few little extra things if you wanted to in that area. 
that can up your word count and it really helps to get you going. And my third piece of advice for you uh, to help you keep up with your word count this NaNoWriMo season is to seek some motivation from friends. Be those friends just through the NaNoWriMo forums or go and reconnect with some old friends who maybe you haven't spoken to in a while. I used to be part of quite a big writing group while I was in high school and I'd fallen out of touch with some of those writers. But NaNoWriMo is exactly the right season to reach out on Skype or reach out on Facebook and reconnect with people who you used to be close to who are also doing NaNoWriMo. Or to make buddies on NaNoWriMo, find people through the forums, find somebody who you are writing at about the same pace with, someone with a similar level of motivation or with a similar type of story if you're both writing sci-fi if you're both writing horror something to kind of motivate each other and you don't have to you know be each other's cheerleader a little friendly competition could be fun just checking in on what their word count is every morning I really enjoy that I love going through my buddy feed and seeing who I'm still ahead of or who's beaten me since the last time I checked in I love that and then maybe picking someone to be like oh I'm just gonna get a couple more words than them today I think that's really fun you might find that extremely stressful especially if maybe you're not kind of in the leaderboard of your writing buddies but still having somebody to just be like oh how many words did you get or to sit down and do a quick little sprint is so helpful and sometimes it just helps to have somebody else who's also doing NaNoWriMo who you can just be like uh oh, this week is kicking my butt and they can talk to you about what they've been doing and how their words are going and you can sort of commiserate a little bit and push each other. So those are my quick tips for keeping up with your NaNoWriMo word count this November. If you're looking for writing buddy on NaNoWriMo I am SK Suncloud. Please feel free to friend me and check out my other video my NaNoWriMo advice video. It's more of a don't stress it than a here's how to do it, but hopefully both of these videos together helps you out. Good luck with NaNoWriMo and I will see you again soon. Bye!